I'm right here at the University of Nairobi grounds. There are long queue of vehicles right behind me. People trying to get into the University of Nairobi grounds where the Pope is expected to hold mass tomorrow. We're going to take you right in and see what is going on right now. Are you ready for the Pope tomorrow? Sure. Not tomorrow, even tonight. Oh, you're meeting him tonight? Yes. Okay, that's fine. How do you feel about the Pope coming to Kenya? Wow. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. The first country in Africa. <laughs> right next to the Pope Spianis is getting ready for tomorrow's big event. My friend who is playing the organ right now behind us and uh, we've uh, worked together to get a blend of different styles of music actually, the traditional Kenyan style, the rhythmical style uh, and these songs will be played by my African colleagues and I'm supposed to take over for the more traditional music, the hymns, the old church hymns, these kind of things. Everything is set and ready for the Pope's mass tomorrow. We tried getting a word on the security situation on ground, but we couldn't get the commander to talk to us. He just came in and left immediately after talking to his top security guys. But as you look around, there are more policemen, the GSC officers are in place, and everybody's security has been built up practically for the Pope's mass tomorrow. And I think Kenya is now ready for the Pope's message of peace and hope that he's going to give him out at the altar tomorrow morning. Hi guys! Hi! Okay, any message you guys have for the Pope? Uh, yeah, we yeah. Hope save Jani. Save Jani, we, love, Jani, you we love you and we hope you bring blessings for our country and the world. We Thank you. you. Bring and mostly, mostly the poor. And we love you. We are asking him to bless us so that uh, we, may, we may start again a real rebirth, a, 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 what I would call a renaissance of Kenya. <laughs>